Olá. Em nome da Porto Editora e dos autores, quero agradecer por estar connosco e pelo interesse em conhecer a nova geração de manuais escolares para os sétimo e décimo anos de escolaridade. Este momento está a ser vivido com enorme entusiasmo por toda a equipa e pelos nossos autores. Finalmente, vamos ter a oportunidade de lhe apresentar projetos educativos que refletem um salto qualitativo extraordinário a todos os níveis. Nunca uma geração de manuais escolares se apresentou tão consistente, tão diversificada, tão adaptada aos desafios que temos pela frente. Tão capaz de melhorar o seu dia-a-dia -dia de trabalho e também ajudar os seus alunos. Foram muitos meses de trabalho intenso e rigoroso, que começou muito antes da pandemia. Fizemos questão de percorrer todo o país para falarmos e debatermos com professores de todas as disciplinas. E quando a pandemia chegou, continuámos nesse diálogo permanente, testando, evoluindo, aperfeiçoando. Ao longo de todo esse caminho, um aspecto se tornou verdadeiramente claro para nós. Todos os dias, o futuro coloca-se perante si, na sala de aula ou à distância. E todos os dias, o futuro vai-se construindo graças ao seu empenho, à sua dedicação, ao seu espírito de missão. Com esta nova geração de manuais escolares, nós vamos estar ao seu lado a abrir horizontes ao futuro. Porque, como bem sabemos, o futuro aprende consigo. Muito obrigado pela sua confiança. Hi there! When I was small, I loved to spend hours and hours baking with my grandmother. I'll never forget the warmth and those delicious smells that came from her kitchen. She taught me that the way to a man's heart is through his tummy, along with our cheesecake family recipe that I will teach my daughters one of these days. Some of you have already tried it and you know just how good it is. Anyway, it was only years later that as a teacher I realized that the way to a student's brain is through his or her learning tummy. Today is the day that Alshandrina, Eduarda, Mary and I get to share our engaging 10 teaching recipe with you. Oh yeah, this one is just as good as my cheesecake one, which I can share with you if you like at the end of this video. Before we start, we're going to make sure to include the following teaching and learning ingredients in our engaging recipe. 1. Learning readiness, to make sure that students want to learn English again when they come back to school in September. 2. Lots of practice in the four skills and 21st century skills too. And finally, the possibility of giving students various learning paths so that they can choose the one that works best for them. So, let's get cooking! Let's begin by preparing all the ingredients we need to cook up a whole lot of learning readiness. This means adding all the important resources to the student's book so that students can't forget anything important at home and get a dreaded and demotivating falta de material that will affect the rest of the lesson. This is why we've included lots of yummy learning ingredients in our students' book. On the back of the front cover, we have the verb wheel to help our students master tenses. At the end of the book, we've added the engaging dictionary and also a classic extensive reading story, which will allow us to stir up some cooking delights, which we'll talk about later. Our fourth big ingredient is on the back cover, the study guide, with the vocabulary and graphic organizers and grammatical explanations in Portuguese to help the students study at home. The teacher's version has the added bonus of the listening scripts and answer keys to make sure that the baking will always go on, even if technology gets creative. 
we have also included suggested answers for the writing and open answer exercises to make sure that the right answer is always up your sleeve. So as you can see, everything we need to bake an English treat is in the same place. The student's book. Doesn't that sound sweet? This means that we are ready to move on to the next step of our engaging recipe. It's time to carefully add in some love for reading and to beat it until it becomes creamy. Because we also eat with our eyes, we begin by giving students very visually appealing reading pages with yummy texts. We know that our students are visual and auditory learners, so we are going to prepare a reading experience for them that takes this into account. An animated reading video that follows a karaoke-like approach to reading. Feel free to sit back and listen, or to read along if you like. Its aim is to get rid of Garbage Island, a stretch of marine debris that lies between California and Japan by collecting floating plastic. At the same time, it allows plants and animals to flow through. Boyan has also built solar-powered barges. At this point, students are ready to read the text themselves. Have you ever seen a student who was motivated to read a text, but then started reading it and was put off because they couldn't understand the vocabulary in it? Well, we've beat in a fantastic reading ingredient to make sure that this doesn't happen. Notice these highlighted yellow words. Well, all the highlighted yellow words are in the engaging dictionary at the end of the book so that students can look up the words they don't know and understand the text. Naturally, we have also made sure that students have access to these reading ingredients at home, just in case they want to prepare or revise the lesson. Isn't this delicious? But be careful when choosing your reading ingredients. We all know that if our ingredients have expired or are outdated, we run the risk of giving the ones we love food poisoning. So. This means that we need to guarantee that students are reading current and pertinent texts throughout the six-year adoption period. Let's have a look at how we have done that. Basically, we have used three tried and tested cooking reading approaches. I say tried and tested because my co-authors have tested them with their students to make sure that they work. We begin by approaching the topics in the programme from a teen perspective, so that when our students read the text, they immediately see what's in it for them. Now, let me call your attention to this little detail, the British flag. Texts in the secondary have to be rigorous, so we have written our texts in British and American English, and the audio reflects the variety of English in the text, as they are read by British or American native speakers. Notice how we have sprinkled the student's book with excerpts of young adult fiction that teens around the world are reading. Next, we know that our students will need to work in a multicultural environment, so we have added reading texts that develop their intercultural awareness. As you can see, we have blended our reading approach with timeless real-world issues that will be pertinent over the next decade. In our Engaging 10 recipe, we never forget to gradually mix in the perfil du alunu so that the sweet taste of critical thinking remains in our taste buds after we have read the texts. You will notice that critical thinking is developed in two rubrics throughout Engaging 10. The stop and think rubric before the text and the critical thinking corner. What a scrumptious way to end a lesson! 
Time to move on to step three of our engaging recipe. Now, I'm sure that we've all baked a yummy homemade cake like this one. But the question is, how do we make the transition between baking a homemade cake and an amazing cake like this one? In other words, how do we help our students master the production skills which guarantee their success at university or the job market? Well, there is only one way, with help from cooking experts like Jamie, Gordon and Nigella. Curious to find out more? Well then, let's keep on baking. Instead of hiring Jamie Oliver to come to our classroom, we're going to go with the specialist of pronunciation, Adrian Underhill, who you may have seen at API. Adrian has taught us that if we want students to speak, then we need to start off by working on their pronunciation. Let's see how this pedagogical cooking secret has been added in Engaging 10. We have prepared a speech recognition tool, or should I say, a laboratorio de language, after the reading texts, just for you and your students. It teaches students to pronounce words, sentences and excerpts of the texts they are reading. I should stress that you or the actual students can record what your students are saying and play it back to them so that they can hear how to improve their pronunciation. Let's have a look at a sneak preview. This is why he dedicated himself to improving social missions. This is why he dedicated himself to improving social missions. Time to bring another cooking specialist into the secondary English classroom. This time, it's the famous Jeremy Harmer, who has accompanied us on our teaching mission since university. Do you remember reading this teaching Bible? Jeremy teaches us to be generous when adding in guided speaking practice, and we are going to do just that. This means that we start off by engaging our students to do more controlled speaking activities, which are carefully scaffolded, so that everyone can get it right if they try. Then, as students become more confident, we challenge them to go a step further. This is why we've included the rubric English for the Real World. Notice that it's still very carefully guided and our secret cooking ingredients are speaking tutorial videos to guarantee that students will know how to ace this task. Let's watch a sneak preview together. Let's watch the introduction. Action! We are very interested to hear your opinion about what it is like to be a teen nowadays. So I thank you for sharing your thoughts on this matter. Would you like to start by explaining what a team's frame of mind is like? You're welcome. Well, I'm not sure that I know the answer to that question, but I'll give it a go. I think that teens nowadays are really the same as they've always been. But in the secondary classroom, we really need to go even further and develop their spoken production skills. Are you ready to look at the next step of our cooking recipe? This time, we need Penny's pedagogical cooking expertise. Of course, this means gently folding in some freer speaking practice into our speaking batter so that there aren't any lumps. Penny reminds us of the power of choice, which is why our engaging spoken production recipe gives students the possibility to choose what type of speaking project they want to work on. Penny also stresses the importance of systematic scaffolding. This is why we've created a flip-flop workbook with thinking ideas and language functions to help all our students bake the speaking tasks in the student's book. As you can see, 
We have included real-world speaking tasks, which our students are sure to find engaging, and the necessary scaffolding to make sure that they will get it right in front of the class. And now that speaking English in public is easy peasy lemon squeezy, let's move on to baking step number four. Oh yeah! It's time to fold in some good old writing practice into our learning batter. Well, good writing is like a slice of cake. It needs a fluffy introduction, a creamy body and a crispy conclusion or it will be a baking flop. This is why we have really tweaked our writing recipe in Engaging 10. Subunit 2 has a double writing spread, which is carefully scaffolded. For visual students, there is a writing video tutorial, which helps them learn how to write in a way that they understand and like. Shall we watch a sneak preview together? You should organise an opinion essay by breaking it down into different parts. A general introduction providing the context, the body of the text with opinions, reasons and examples, and the conclusion. Let's start off with the introduction that introduces and contextualises the topic. Technology is advancing at an astounding rhythm that makes it impossible for the average person like you and I to keep up with it. And then, the cherry on our writing cake is the rephrasing and writing champ that breaks the writing task down further so that every student can develop the writing skills that they'll need in the real world. Notice how we give students writing frames to make sure that they learn to structure their writing properly. But good speaking and writing needs to be accurate, so don't forget to mix in some accurate English. This is why we've included lots of rephrasing practice throughout the whole student's book. And an extra dose of rephrasing powder in the rephrasing and writing champ. Can you just imagine how this will help the language skills rise to the occasion? Now, if you wanted to serve up a sweet delight for your students, the kind that has them begging you for more, would you go with this gourmet option on the left or the classic on the right? Easy question, right? The good old chocolate cake even if they can only have some once in a blue moon. Guess it's time to sprinkle in a teaspoon of learning fun into our secondary English classes. That's right, we're going to add in a pinch of gamified learning to the equation. In Engaging 10, we have included some sweet learning delights that you can bring into your classes. Apart from the usual engaging videos, we have also added fun grammar and vocabulary games and classic engaging songs with the karaoke version so that you can discover the next Beyonce out there. Then, we've included an engaging verb wheel with the more difficult English tenses so that no child gets left behind. Let's watch a snippet of a vocabulary game. Time to sing along to a classic that we all love. Don't worry if you don't know the lyrics. We have a karaoke that you can rely on. 
After such delicious sweet learning treats, they need to work out to get into shape for the tests. And we know just how challenging tests can be in the secundario, don't we now? This is why Engaging 10 gives students the study resources that they need to bake their own English cake for tea. Notice the study time rubric where we engage students to develop the study tools they need because in the secundario, coming to classes is simply not enough. We also included an important ingredient called the study time tutorial that they can watch before doing the mini tests and the practice test at the end of the unit. How about we watch a snippet together? Study notes in less than three minutes. Ready for a quick idiom recap? Here goes. When you push or press someone's buttons, you make someone angry or annoyed. If you hit the panic button, you worry or feel nervous about something. And once they have studied, they are ready to do the practice test at the end of the unit so that they can ace the real test and get the marks they need to have the mark they deserve at the end of the term. Sounds like we're ready to move on to step six of our engaging recipe. This is a crucial step to help us realize if the learning batter is just right. To get that fluffiness that everybody loves, make sure that the student's book has been realistically structured or your cake will flop. That's why we have made sure that our engaging recipe gives us the time we need to complete the planificação without the usual stress that drives us crazy. Engaging 10 is a course book that is doable. Notice how it just has four units with three subunits. And notice how each unit is divided into two parts. Part one contains the aprendizagens. This means that even if you only teach this part of the unit, you will always have complete the planificação anual and taught the aprendizagens for the 10th year. But part two, which we have called the English Plus section, contains more trabalhinho for stronger classes or schools that have more carga horaria. So, what does this mean? This means that if we don't have the time for it, we can simply skip this section and continue on to the next subunit. This guarantees that we will always be able to complete the planificação. Now that sounds simply scrumptious, doesn't it just? Our cake is almost ready for us to bake, but we still have a final step to get through. Remember to add a teaspoon of baking powder so that all our students can rise to the occasion. That's why we have given you a teacher's file with baking powder galore to bake lesson plans and bureaucratic documents like that and all the cooking utensils that you need to cook up the DAX that the Ministry of Education asks us to. Each unit in the student's book ends with the spoken production project. Notice that option two is a cross-curricular option. You can also do the articulação curricular with the extensive reading, which is a modern adaptation of the Farsa de Inês Pereira that students have to read in Portuguese. Agnes fell head over heels in love 
when she saw her noble army sergeant. Not only was he handsome, but he also spoke eloquently and had some really cool dance moves. He was a real Prince Charming. Or so she thought. Pity that she had never heard the quote, Love turns us into fools. If only she had stopped to look a little more closely at his butler, she would have noticed that there was something fishy in this noble sergeant's story. And you can sit back and smell the delicious smell of hot cake because we have pre-cooked all these options for you. All you have to do is put your pre-prepared duck cake in the oven and watch it grow. We have also given you the classic toppings that you love, like lots of fishingers. And a complete pack of tests, mini tests and speaking tests to make sure that you have lots of evaluation tools to choose from. And because we know that you need tests that no Centro de Estudos can copy, we have created another techie tool called the Test Generator. This tool gives you another three graded tests with different exercise types that you can mix and match to create a new and unique test. As you can see, testing with Engaging 10 is just a few simple clicks away. And finally, we have made sure to include an Educação Inclusiva pack so that no child is left behind. Our engaging 10 cake is in the oven and we can already smell all those engaging resources that will treat our students' English taste buds. And all these delicious toppings that will help us cater for our students' needs and make a difference. Looks like our engaging recipe makes us feel alive and we deserve to feel that every day. So, join Alexandrina, Eduarda, Mary and I in serving an engaging treat for your students this coming September. So, what's the moral of today's recipe? Tell me and I forget. Show me, and I may remember. Engage me, and I learn. Glory, glory, this is just the beginning of our Engaging 10 story. Bye for now. Hello everyone, today is the big day and the Hashtag English team is looking forward to sharing it with you. Thank you so much for being there, it means the world to us. My name is Aida Santos and I'd like to greet the familiar faces on the other side of the screen and of course say nice to meet you to those who don't know me yet. I promise you'll have megabytes of fun, gigabytes of aha moments and terabytes Prizes. So pour yourself a cup of your favorite coffee or tea and make yourself comfortable because we don't want you to miss a bit. No way, Jose. Well, are you ready to hashtag your English? So let's go back one year to tell you how it all started. It all began with a study in which teachers were asked this very powerful question. Are you happy with the course book you are using in your classroom? Mm. While going through the answers, we concluded 
that most teachers were okay with their coursebook, but there's always a but, right? They wished for something that would make the teaching learning experience even, even, mm, yes, B, E, T, another T, E again, and R. And this was the moment when Cristina, Joana, Susanna, and I looked at each other and instantly knew what the next powerful question would be. What do they mean by better? After racking our brains for quite a while, we finally got that eureka moment. Surprisingly, the answer to the question came up when we changed the pronoun from they to we and started focusing on what do we mean by better. We realized that our needs as English teachers were not any different, and I dare to say that your needs aren't either. Do you know why? Because we are superheroes, always pushing ourselves and our students not only to do better, but also to be better. This is the reason why our team accepted the mission to put together a project that would address our needs in order to boost teaching and learning, embrace variety, target collaboration, trigger autonomy, elevate choice, and reach different level students. Am I talking about Mission Impossible here? No, of course not, because we already do this in our classrooms. The problem is that we need to be constantly looking for the right tools which is time-consuming and takes a lot of blood, sweat, and sometimes tears. What if you could find everything you need, and much more, in a course book? Hmm, guess what? Your dreams are about to come true. I can't wait to share everything with you. Are you excited? Because I'm going bananas here. So, this is the moment when the hashtag symbol everyone uses on social media to bring people together around the same topic becomes the symbol that will connect us to our students through a whole new meaningful course book. The one and only hashtag English 10. Let's meet hashtag one, the course book. Hashtag two, the irregular verbs bookmark. Hashtag three, the workbook. Hashtag four, the mind the map. Hashtag five, the speaking cards. Hashtag six, the teacher's resource feed. And last but not least, hashtag seven, manual digital. Well, five challenges will be presented to you today. Let's find out how Hashtag English 10 will help you deal with them on a daily basis. So, which better place to start than where it all happens? Same old, same old. Four topics throughout the year, long, endless units, no connection established. I'm so tired of this. I have no idea which one of you said that, mm, but I must admit it was a thought-provoking intervention. It's time to put the superpowers of Hashtag One into action, the course book. Well, I must say those boring old days are long gone. Once you lay your eyes on the gorgeous Hashtag English, you will fall deeply in love with it. Its bright colors and beautiful pictures will brighten up your day. Flipping the pages slowly and savoring 
those 12 units of only 12 pages each, flowing smoothly and pleasantly. You will actually be moving forward instead of being stuck on the same module for an eternity. If you pay close attention, you will notice how the varied themes and tasks are interrelated, focusing on students' interests, contacts, and personal experience. This student-oriented approach will certainly make learning more meaningful to them and more pleasant and rewarding to you as you see them progress. Wouldn't you agree? Six years using the exact same material. How boring is that? Oh dear. This is a big issue, isn't it? But I have wonderful news for you that are going to blow your mind. What if the irresistible hashtag English would have a specific section that would give you the power to choose other materials and activities to swap or add to the main units of the course book? Hmm, you wouldn't believe me, right? It's too good to be true, I know. Well, good things happen. What you're looking at is the hashtag teach or switch section. Use it to suit your students' interests, competence, or to reinforce a particular skill. Six years using the exact same material will be history from now on. It feels so good to have a choice, doesn't it? And here is Joana Coutinho to get this presentation going. Are you ready, Joana? How can I keep my students highly motivated? Well, technology usually comes in handy. Throughout the course book, you will use different and new digital resources to grab your students' attention besides those you already use, like PowerPoints, videos, games, and tutorials. Let's look at some suggestions. You can use hashtag Instacultures. You might be asking, what are Instacultures? They look like Insta stories, a feature uh, our students know very well from social media, which is a quick and appealing way to present information. They give students an insight on relevant cultural aspects of the English-speaking world. Getting to know more about a particular cultural aspect in a way they are very fond of will not only grab our students' attention instantly, but also enrich their knowledge of the world. Would you like to take a sneak peek? Nice, isn't it? We all know that students love games and challenges, right? Imagine transforming your classroom into an escape room experience in which your students need to face some challenges to complete the game. And what are these challenges about? Revising vocabulary, grammar, and the topics they, they have studied. Mm, how exciting is that? This digital game is really different from what students are used to. In groups, they'll need to solve enigmas, find objects, and use them to move forward until they manage to escape. Collaborative work assumes an important role here, as students will have to discuss ideas, exchange information, and reach an agreement to get to the end of the game. They have to go the extra mile here, but their learning will be more meaningful, that's for sure. Not to mention all the fun they'll have. Let's watch a little bit.
everyone will have a blast in the classroom. Now, how do your students usually read a text? First silently, then you ask them to read aloud or eventually to listen to the audio. Nothing new, right? So, how about animating their reading experience? Most texts in hashtag English combine audio, words and visuals, which can turn reading into a much more exciting activity and help students grasp the text more effectively. They will actually see what they're reading about. I'll show you. The idea that artificial intelligence can compose music is scary for a lot of people, including me. But music-making AI software has advanced so far in the past few years that it's no longer a frightening novelty. It's a viable tool that can and is being used by producers to help in the creative process. This raises the question, could artificial intelligence one day replace musicians? How cool is that? Speaking and writing are a true nightmare for my students. Remember hashtag 4? Mind maps are a powerful resource to develop students' speaking and writing skills. They also trigger creativity and autonomy. Once again, visuals play an important role here as beautifully designed mind maps that cover all units can help students think about a certain topic and organize their ideas. First, they speak together and then produce different types of texts using the ideas shared before. And how can we help them organize their texts? Well, there are valuable tips in this section. Guidelines and practical examples are provided so that students can overcome difficulties and go through the tasks in a more autonomous way. Plus, students can also find help and guidance in the speaking and writing tutorial videos. I don't think students will look at speaking and writing as a nightmare anymore. Don't go anywhere now, because Cristina Batista has more secrets to uncover. I struggle to cope with different rhythms and levels in my classroom. I know what you mean. It's really tough work, especially when you have huge classes and very impatient students with different needs. Teacher, I'm done. What can I do now? Well, there's extra practice in the hashtag keep it up section of the booklet at the end of the course book, which includes consolidation exercises with different levels of difficulty. This can be very useful both for fast finishers and those who need remedial work. Like me, I'm sure you also have different learning rhythms within your classroom and these materials allow you to manage them well. Plus, each grammar page of the course book clearly states where that content can be found within the other available materials. It seems to me that knowing where to look for help find guidelines or further practice makes students better. The hashtag feeds section of the booklet is a valuable resource to guide students step by step through reading and listening comprehension activities. It also provides tips on how to prepare oral presentations, learn English with their favorite songs, films and even the best apps. In addition, in the hashtag recap section of their workbook, students can revise and practice important contents from previous years. How often do you try to make your students learn a structure that requires prior knowledge, but they just don't get there without a thorough revision of basic contents? I know I feel that quite often, and it sometimes even implies preparing different sets of materials to cover that need. This way, it's all within our reach. Remember that practice makes perfect, and students need a great amount of exercises and activities on a daily basis. Yes, I know what you're thinking there. We all know that, but how can we do it all? It just takes too much time to prepare. No worries, we've got that covered. In the course book, students have revision pages at the end of each unit and a practice test at the end of each two units. Plus, 
reference pages are provided for students to monitor their own learning process. They can go back and revise contents or move forward for extra practice. At the end of each unit of the workbook, they also have the hashtag InstaCheck section to revise and instantly check their learning through a set of multiple choice exercises. Verb tenses in English always give me a headache. Don't worry, get your bookmark with all the verb tenses you need. Let me tell you that it's not just a list of irregular verbs, as we often find in English course books, but the actual way in which different tenses of that same verb are built. Clearly, we will be able to take care of our students' headaches. Hmm, can I say something else? When thinking about students in classrooms, collaboration comes to mind, don't you agree? As you know from your own experience, this implies not only a range of classroom activities, but also project-based learning tasks. And we have plenty to choose from, after all, as we want to prepare them for the future, for the world, students benefit greatly from this type of tasks. Plus, in the teacher's resource feed, hashtag 6, you also find DAC and citizenship projects that connect different subjects and contexts. In the teacher's resource feed, you will also find diverse materials ranging from lesson plans, observation and assessment grids, mixed stability tests and worksheets, films, songs, TED Talks to 32 speaking cards, you name it. Oh, let me explain that the speaking cards include four types of collaborative activities. Describing pictures, conversation topics, storytelling and discussion. As you well know, it is important to make students communicate with each other within a set of contexts as similar to the real world as possible. Now that we're close to the end, let me ask you a question. At the end of the day, what is it that you want for your students? I believe we want them to grow and learn, to surpass the limits of our classroom and become successful citizens of the world. So, give hashtag English a chance to connect with your students and bring knowledge, color and motivation into your classroom. Thank you so much for your time. Keep up the good work and stay safe. O Quiz EV ajuda os professores a dinamizar as suas aulas com quizzes totalmente adaptados aos conteúdos que está a lecionar. Rapidamente, junto do seu manual ou nos recursos da disciplina, encontra uma lista de quizzes sobre os mais diversos temas prontos a jogar. Mas também pode editá-los, selecionando outras questões já disponíveis no banco ou criando um quiz totalmente novo com as suas próprias questões. Para jogar é muito simples. Clique na seta para iniciar e defina o modo. Pode jogar em sala de aula presencial, em sessões síncronas à distância ou mesmo em sessões assíncronas. Pode até jogar sem que os alunos disponham de um dispositivo, com cartões físicos. Se já tiver uma turma criada, basta selecioná-la e automaticamente os alunos recebem um convite para entrar no jogo. Se não tiver uma turma criada, é gerado um código que os alunos inserem no seu dispositivo. Depois é só jogar. Cada questão tem um tempo limite de resposta e a cada passo são apresentados os resultados em tempo real. No final, são apresentados diversos gráficos que lhe permitem acompanhar o desempenho da turma e de cada aluno, identificando os tópicos que já estão adquiridos e os que necessitam de maior atenção. Com o Quiz EV, avaliar torna-se simples, envolvente e muito eficaz. Avaliar e dar feedback é uma das principais funções do professor. Mas criar materiais ajustados a cada turma ou a cada aluno é difícil e ocupa muito do seu tempo. 
Para o apoiar nesta tarefa, disponibilizamos vários testes perfeitamente ajustados ao seu manual. Mas mais do que isso, totalmente editáveis em apenas alguns cliques. Para cada questão foram pensadas alternativas, com tipologias e níveis de dificuldade diferentes, para poder facilmente substituir por uma outra questão, documento ou todo um grupo, criando rapidamente várias versões do mesmo teste. Pode também editar todas as questões disponíveis ou criar e acrescentar as suas. Para cada teste foi pensada a devida cotação, que poderá também ser personalizada por si. No final, pode descarregar a versão de impressão, que inclui as respectivas soluções e grelha de correção, partilhar com outros professores ou atribuir o teste interativo como tarefa na escola virtual. Neste caso, os resultados são automáticos nas questões de resposta fechada e as questões de resposta aberta serão facilmente validadas pelo professor com o apoio dos critérios de correção ou de uma resposta exemplo. Poderá também exportar um relatório com todos os resultados e vários gráficos que o ajudam a monitorizar o desempenho das suas turmas e de cada um dos seus alunos. Como gerador de testes, a avaliação torna-se rápida, personalizada e eficaz. E se pela primeira vez os seus alunos não quisessem sair da sala de aula? Com o um Escape Room, eles vão mergulhar na sua disciplina como nunca imaginou. Os seus alunos serão virtualmente fechados numa sala e dispõem de um limite de tempo para encontrar a chave e sair. Então e agora? O que têm de fazer? Por onde devem começar? Num contexto de projeção em sala de aula, em equipa ou individualmente, têm de resolver um desafio de lógica e descobrir a palavra escondida? Encontrar o elemento que revela o texto secreto? Ordenar as peças do puzzle? Sim, é isso mesmo! Para obterem a chave, têm de resolver inúmeros desafios, recolher objetos e decifrar enigmas. Os seus alunos encontrarão ambientes imersivos e visualmente apelativos. Diversos enigmas lúdico-educativos que mobilizam os seus conhecimentos e testam o raciocínio lógico. Compartimentos secretos que põem à prova a perspicácia, música que proporciona um envolvimento com a narrativa do jogo, Limite de tempo que melhora a capacidade de planeamento e de gestão de tarefas. Esta é uma nova estratégia de ensino que irá entusiasmar os alunos de tal forma que nem vão dar pelo tempo passar. Aventure-se com eles a descobrir a chave do conhecimento. Para melhor aprender uma nova língua, conseguir comunicar com fluidez é essencial. Mas muitas vezes o tempo para a prática da expressão oral em sala de aula é escasso. Para ajudar a vencer esse desafio, surge a nossa nova tecnologia de reconhecimento de voz, conjugada com atividades especialmente concebidas para os seus alunos. As várias atividades disponíveis possibilitam a audição de áudios originais gravados por falantes nativos, écoute et répète, préféré, a gravação da resposta pelo aluno, the girl's t-shirt is yellow, e a transcrição e validação dos resultados em tempo real com indicação das respostas corretas e incorretas e também com sugestão de correção. Pode ainda combinar estas atividades com vídeos, áudios ou imagens numa sequência de aprendizagem personalizada. Os resultados podem ser imediatamente partilhados consigo, permitindo-lhe monitorizar a todo momento a aquisição de competências comunicativas pelos seus alunos. Do you want your students to write like a pro? With our writing tutorials, they'll become star writers and the and then and then days will be totally over. So, have your students write flawless emails, catchy articles, mind-blowing blog posts or essays that inspire. With these writing tutorials, they will learn how to plan, write and revise their texts step by step. As well as to improve their spelling, punctuation, word choice, and sentence structure in their writing. In the classroom, at home, or while waiting for the bus, your students can watch these tutorials wherever they are and write whenever inspiration hits. Exposição, contexto, variedade, imersão são fatores fundamentais na aprendizagem de uma língua estrangeira. 
traga os seus alunos para um ambiente multidimensional de estudo com os nossos manuais interativos. Os seus manuais, conforme os conhece, enriquecidos por uma cuidada seleção de recursos digitais. Centenas de vídeos sobre os mais diversos temas, leituras acompanhadas e animações dos textos dos manuais que facilitam a sua compreensão. Olá, eu vivo com minha madre em um piso situado no centro da cidade. Karaokes de canções que convidam a um aprofundamento do vocabulário. Atividades e jogos divertidos para a consolidação de conhecimentos. Todos os exercícios do manual em formato interativo e com resultados imediatos que permitem praticar ou rever a matéria a qualquer momento. Acessível online ou offline a partir de qualquer smartphone, tablet ou computador.